so little Mike, huh? I, I definitely probably wasn't the uh, greatest kid in the world as a <laughs> young adolescent, right? Um, and uh, yeah, I was definitely wild. I had an older brother um, who I hung around with. Uh, we had a lot of fun. You know, we'd get in trouble, egging houses, teepeeing houses, stuff like that, right? Um, I can remember from a young age going to the Safeway um, in Napa, right? I'm from Napa, California. And um, you know, going to the Safeway with my older brother and his friend and or friends. And it's back in the day when they used to carry cigarettes, like in the front of the store, they didn't lock them up. Right. And so, you know, it's one of two stores in all of Napa or grocery stores. And so, you know, Hey Mike, go steal that pack of cigarettes. I'm like, okay. So I run in, grab a pack of cigarettes, run out, you know, and we all sit out there and hang out by Phillips school and we're sitting there smoking cigarettes. And, um, you know, every now and again, you'd, one of the buddies would have like a Mickey's 40 that we, you know, take a pull off of, stick it in the wood. There's a creek behind the school and we, you know, like kind of bury it behind a tree, come back a week later, take another pull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stuff like that, you know? So, um, yeah, you know, I, I was definitely hard headed. Yeah. How old were you about when this was? You know, I can't, if I had to guess, I was probably anywhere from like eight to 10. Oh, wow. Yeah. So younger, my brother's two years older, you know, I, I wanted to hang around him being around him and his friends, which I'm sure he hated. <laughs> yeah, so I have an older brother, four years, man. They used to terrorize my ass <laughs> uh, till I grew and I was bigger than everybody. Yeah. Um, so was there stuff that was going on at home that, that, I mean, eight, 10, that's pretty early to start diving into the, the, the substances and stuff, you know, there, there was certain things going on at home. Um, you know, uh, my, I don't know if it was that era or whatever it was, but like when the street lights came on, you know, my parents didn't really mind what I did as long as I didn't get in too much trouble. Mm -hmm. And when the street lights came on, I was either headed home or home. Right. right. And, uh, if not, you could hear my stepmom screaming, Michael Thomas, you know, <laughs> like four streets over and you can hear that yell, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. So, I mean, there was, there was definitely stuff going on at home. Um, you know, it's, my mother left when I was two years old, um, you know, and didn't have much communication with her. So my dad had remarried. My dad uh, was always working hard. Um, so, and, and my stepmom as well, always working hard. Um, so it was, you know, back in the day, man, we used to walk to school, you know, walk to and from school. And that's kind of your, I'm walking with my brother, you know, hanging around our friends and, you know, doing what kids do. Yeah, that was definitely the, the era with our parents and you know, I've, I don't know about you had to look back and, and, you know, as generations move, I think we get a little more emotionally mature, you know, a little more understanding communication gets a little bit better. But you know, when I, when I let go of resentments, I don't know about you with this, like childhood resentments is while my parents went through a lot of shit, they actually did better for my brother and I than was done for them. And all they really knew was how to work hard, provide. And, you know, I mean, my dad will say it now. He's He's been in long-term recovery, too. Is like, hey, I would take back all that hard working for Disney trips and all the G.I. Joe you had to spend a little more time. Mm -hmm. But I don't think our generation of parents really knew any different, you know? Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it seems like um, the generation. I mean, and it's all about connectivity, right? I mean, now you have cell phones, right? You can talk, you can text your parents, talk to your parents, you know, back in the day, it was, you know, it was, uh, you know, you're walking to school. You didn't talk to your parents again until they got home from work. Yeah. So, uh, there wasn't too much, uh, communication in between there, you know, maybe it was the sign of the times. And then, you know, before that it was, uh, you know, even more different than what it is today. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.